Hey, welcome to Lead a Life in Common. I'm Mary Bicknell, former psychotherapist and sales training turned business success coach for female entrepreneurs and business owners ready to jump off that plateau, my friends, smash through your income ceiling and simplify every single thing in your life and business so you can have some time back. Yeah. Remember that free time? That's why you started your business in the first place. So you could do all the other kind of cool stuff of life. So maybe you're here because you need to tweak your marketing, your selling or your offer. Maybe it's time to self stop sabotaging, dump the fear, up level your mindset and allow yourself to make all the money you crave while living out your purpose. If you're ready to make everything simpler, get more productive, have more free time, and truly lead a life uncommon, this is your go-to podcast. Weekly biz bites, deep dives, and interviews will ensure you're going to get the answers. Ready? Let's go. Hey, how are you? Happy Friday. Here's an impromptu video for you. So this is for those of you who are thinking about investing in your businesses. And this is a little training also for those of you who are working with clients and who give you an objection about money. Okay. So let me play this out. You have a perfect ideal client and she's fabulous. And you two make that great connection and you've conveyed the value or at least you think you have, you've conveyed the value of your offering to her. And this is what she says. Oh golly, I really need to think about it. I need to ask my ta my my financial advisor whether I can invest in this life coaching thing you offer. Or, oh, you know, it's February and I think sometime in April I can do it. So how do you handle that? So first of all, I want you to think about this for yourself. Are, is this something that you're saying to yourself? Are you saying like, oh, I'd really love to work with Mary Bicknell or I'd really love to work with whoever, right? Whoever that is. I'd really love to join the gym or I'd really love to buy that purse or I'd really love to buy the whatever. The thing that you say that you want and then you have some kind of pushback internally for buying it. My question to you is, if you are the purchaser and you are, you are saying to some, you're saying that you need some external validation, you need somebody to tell you whether or not you're worthy to spend money and invest on your personal development, I want to tell you that that's a huge sign that you need to actually work with a coach. That's a huge sign that says you're deferring your life choices to an external person. Okay. So if you are thinking, oh, I really want to buy that thing and you have the money or you're trying to figure out the money, the truth is the decision that you have to make is from the place that you want to be and not from the place that you are. Frequently, the problem is, is so many women, they want, let's just say some personal development. They want to hire a life coach. They want to buy the thing that they say that they want. They want to invest in it. They've talked to somebody, they've researched that person and they're like, oh my God, that person can help me. And then they're like, well, I don't know about the money. So what happens is a couple of things. Number one, how many times have you invested in yourself? Right? How many times have you actually worked with someone who could help you transform, help you cross the bridge to the goal that you want? Most of you never have. Then there's some of you who are like, yeah, Mary, I have, but I never followed through. So the problem becomes you're looking into the past to give you validation that you're a woman who doesn't follow through. You probably sought out speaking to a life coach or you sought out a personal development program because you don't want to be that girl anymore who doesn't follow through. So... Again, here's a couple things, right? Whether you're watching this as a life coach or a coach wanting to sell your services to someone and they're like, well, let me, let me ask my, let me ask my husband. Let me pray about it. Let me look outside. Let me look outside everyone, but in here, or, you know, it's you right now trying to say, oh my God, I want to do this. These are the questions that you need to think about. You need to think about First of all, if you're the life coach or if you're the coach and you're conveying value for transformation for that particular woman, your job is to help coach her through her buying decision. Your job is to help coach her through her 
confusion or maybe even her fear about transformation. Truth is, sometimes people are afraid to change. They say they want to change. They're afraid. They're afraid of success. They're afraid of failure. They're afraid. Some people, they, they don't trust themselves. So these would be the questions I asked. If somebody was like, well, I need to check with my financial advisor, I'd say, you know, um, Sally, I, I have a question for you. Are you open to some, you know, to me ask you some questions that might make you feel uncomfortable? And of course she's going to say yes, because she's on the phone with me and she wants what I have to offer. I'm going to say, how many times in your life have you deferred your decision to someone else? How many times have you deferred your decision to someone else? What you told me that you wanted is insert her big dream here. And what you, the reason that you haven't gotten it is, you know, explain what the problem is or the reason why. I feel like this is one of those same kind of cases. It's like you reached out to get help. We explain, I explained to you very clearly the value of working together and the transformation. And now you're saying the investment is too much for you. So I can't help but wonder, is the investment really too much for you? Or is it that you're, you're, you feel as though maybe you're not going to follow through or whatever? So ask her those questions. And then I'm direct. So not everybody is going to be able to do this, but I'd be like, what the hell is your financial advisor going to tell you? Why would you ever take advice from someone who is not in a place that you want to be? Like if you want financial advice, go talk to your financial advisor, but you're talking to me as a coach and I'm giving you input on what's going to transform your life. So asking someone, hey, can I invest in my own personal development? You know, do I have the money? Look, the best bet, my friends, is on yourself. The best place to invest in you making transformations, the best place for you to invest is increasing your skill, Increasing your mindset, working with somebody who can help you transform that. That's your best bet, my friend. Because when you have that transformation, when you learn the skills to become a coach, or when you learn the skills to get unstuck, or when you learn, that is for a lifetime. And Joe Bob telling you, oh, I don't know if you've got $3,000 or $5,000 to pay for that life coach, who he doesn't understand, she doesn't understand the, the thing inside that's pulling you for transformation, that's a big problem. Now, for those of you who are coaches and still learning the art of having these conversations, I'm sorry, my arm's low, art of this conversation, I want to tell you, it comes with time. It comes with courage also to stand in a place of coaching your client in helping them see the other side of the bridge, the other side of the river where they want to go, help them connect with their future self. Help them connect with their future self. Ask them, are you making a decision today, Sally, based on where you are and what you've done? Or are you basing it on where you want to be in your life? Because I know I just explained to you how I can help you do that X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. And then the result that you're going to get, benefit, 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 result, result, result. And you said you wanted that. So I'm curious on why you're making a decision about this when you said that was what you wanted based on money. Why not base this on your desire to actually have transformation? That's a way different conversation because then you can really help her see, oh my God, I'm scared or oh my God, I procrastinated or oh my God, I invested in this one thing and I never followed through and I keep going up and down and up and down and I don't know if I can do it. Can you help me do it? I don't know. I'm going to put up my fear of like my husband said, no, I don't have time. I don't have money. All of those things are just her thoughts. All of those things are just the thing that she's afraid of because I want you to get me. When you have someone on the phone, I promise you, I promise you, they want a solution. They want a different result. They are seeking it or they, they wouldn't waste their time getting on the phone with you. Can you see that? Can you see that to be true? If someone gets on the phone with you, it's because they're like, oh my God, I really want to do this. Oh my God. So this is not about twisting people's arms. This is about serving them well. And this is about helping them get clear on maybe why they are putting up another block to their own success. 
And for those of you who are thinking about investing in whatever it is, get clear on what value you want out of whatever the program, the coach, the working together, what your goal is, and show up as the future you in that call. Show up with the possibilities that you have in front of you. That's the difference. So if you have any questions, I see a bunch of you on here. Hey, everybody. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I'm getting ready to go out and run some errands. I will jump back in this group later. Um, but learning to sell is really learning to serve people. Now, granted, look, if this person is not your ideal client, we never take people's money or try and convince them or twist their arm if they're not our ideal client. Part of the sales conversation is for you to decide if this is your ideal client and that you really want to work together. See, if it's not your ideal client, then you got a, then you got something going on. Then your marketing is not clear because you're attracting in the wrong people. This to me is one of the greatest fun things about developing our businesses. Every little piece of the puzzle, our sales calls, our marketing, our Facebook ads, our showing up, really help us hone our message so that when it's right, People don't care how much it is. This is, I'm going to say this again, and you know this to be true. When you want something badly enough, you will find a way. You probably are a find a way, make a way kind of woman. Your job is to help your clients be that type of woman as well. All right, enjoy the rest of the day. Bye. Hey, hey I've got something special for you. Um, to get you back some of your time to have an actual plan, pop over to marybicknell.com slash freebie. And the link is also in the show notes. Grab your blind spot breakthrough training. So this is an actual training that I recorded live in one of my programs. And what we're going to do is I'm going to help you bust through five blind spots that keep you from having every single thing that you want in your life and your business. You're going to work through these things. You're going to have ahas. You're going to learn what triggers these blind spots to show up. And we're going to create a plan to help you stop doing those things. So make sure when you're done, you send me an email and you let me know all your ahas. And I'll see you on the inside. Oh, wait, don't forget, leave a comment and a five-star rating. And I'll talk to you soon.